All right, everybody, here's here's what's up. I'm currently in San, what's it called? San Diego, California at Twitch convention. It's like, it's like YouTube, but worse. And I've been getting what I would call a tidal wave of messages from people being like, Nick, they did the Mario trailer. You have to look at it. You better look at it right now. So it's almost 10 p.m. I've left my friends <laughs> to go back to my hotel room to watch this Mario trailer for you. I have managed, I have managed to stay completely unspoiled on it. I haven't seen a frame of it. I haven't seen, I heard there were like leaks from like a McDonald's toy or like a something. All I've seen is the same poster that everyone else saw that everyone fucking tagged me in where they're like, look at his hair. So I'm gonna watch the Mario trailer now. I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. I Something about this has been filling me with this sense of like dread that I can't really articulate. And it's not like, oh, the hair is gonna, it's not that, it's like, I just don't trust <laughs> anybody involved in this. I honestly think if, I'll, I'll, I'll hold my tongue. If this is fucked up and weird, it's, I don't think it's gonna be the minion guy's fault. I think that the fucking, the biggest secret in the room is that Nintendo is weird. I don't think Chris Pratt was a illumination decision. That feels like Shigeru Miyamoto saw fucking Jurassic World and chose Chris Pratt. It's Nintendo's weirder than than the Minions guys. On God, I that's my I'll go to my grave insisting on that. Let her rip. <laughs> I'm so fucking, why am I so scared of this? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's just Mario. It's been nearly 40 years since the original Mario Brothers game was released in Japan. I thought he was gonna be like, it's been nearly, <laughs> it's been nearly 30 years since the original Mario Brothers movie was released in America, but no. Today, lots of people around the world are playing Mario games. True. Thank you all so much. You're welcome. Finally, the world of Super Mario Brothers will become an animated movie. The time flew by as we were having fun figuring out how to depict the Super Mario characters and world. I mean, I have a... I know one way you could do it. I, I should... I haven't seen it yet, so I can't... But, like, what if you made it look like Mario? In fact, in fact, if you guys are looking for voices, what if you had the guy who does the voice of Mario do the voice of Mario? That's something I've been kicking around. That's an idea that I had. Little left field idea I had. You know who does a really good voice of Mario? I noticed, I noticed after playing Mario that the guy who does the voice of Mario does a really good Mario voice. Charles Martinet, the Mario voice guy, he actually does a great impression of Mario, I've noticed. So maybe one idea, and I don't want to tell you guys how to do your job, but what if you had the Mario voice guy do the Mario voice in the Mario voice movie? Mario voice. Now, I'd like to hear from Chris San, my good friend Chris and San. great partner for the movie. Let's bring him in. Chris San. Is he gonna be like dressed? Thank you, Miyamoto San. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be Chris Pratt. That was, there's no way, there's, <laughs> that was the craziest jump scare. I really thought it was gonna be Chris Pratt. <laughs> I am speaking on behalf of our directors, Michael Jelinek, Aaron Horvath, and the entire Illumination crew of artists. When I, I like tell you hat. that producing the Super Mario Brothers movie with you and your team at Nintendo has been an absolute privilege. This man is, Quite serious, I'm noticing. Not a, not a, not cracking a hint of a smile. He's, he's, <laughs> he's clearly him and his team have been treating this Mario Brothers movie like they've got the nuclear codes. Uh, growing up, man, I spent hours of my life stomping Koopas in the original Mario Brothers arcade game at my local laundromat. It's been a lifelong dream of mine to become Mario. Um. Hey guys, guys, I just want to say something to you really quick that I've been kicking around in my head for a while now. Uh, honestly, he really did take the words right out of my mouth because what I was about to say is it's been a lifelong dream of mine to become Mario. Hold on a second. It's been a lifelong dream of mine to become Mario. You're lying. You're lying. I'm not saying it's bad casting. I'm not saying he can't do it. The sentence, it's been a lifelong dream of mine to become Mario is a, <laughs> is a lie. It's a liar's sentence. It's the, <laughs> it's not a true sentence. It has not been a lifelong dream of yours or really anyone's to become Mario. I don't believe you, bro. I'm sorry. That's not, that's not the, tr <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. They haven't even shown the movie. <laughs> Thank you, Chris san, Jack san. All right, then. Thank you all for waiting. Let's press the start button. It's time to watch the Mario film. Koopa was moving. <laughs> Open the gates! Yo, this is... Minions? <laughs> minions? <laughs> Penguin? That's just minions. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Can I... Can I- they don't know how to make a movie that's not Minions, I guess. Uh, can I just say... Bowser's first line didn't set off any alarm bells for me. I think it's kinda good. I- that felt- that felt okay to me. I don't know what these fucking penguins are doing here. But... That is but a taste of our fury! Do you yield? <laughs> is it like Mario 6? I do not. say that my issue with the Sonic movie, I think the visuals were okay. I think all the human stuff was absolute dog shit and shouldn't be there and is bad in both movies. Um, but the real sin that the Sonic movies committed to me wasn't like Sonic's art style, which I think they mostly got right eventually. It was the writing. It was the fact that that movie's sense of humor just fully sucked completely and wasn't funny and was like lowest common denominator despicable me it's so fluffy dog shit and so really what i'm scanning for here last thing and then we'll keep watching but what i'm checking for here is a does this movie have a sense of humor that makes me like physically cringe if it passes that test fuck yeah they nailed it if it if it doesn't i will be it will hurt my feelings a little bit i finally found it now who's gonna stop me? That's <sighs> that was Chris Pratt moaning over the It's not it's not giving Mario so far. What is this place? <laughs> it's Chris Pratt! Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That one's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario! Mushroom Kingdom, here we come! He's not a giant. He's not a giant. That's all we get, huh? I want to thank all of you for being part you of this moment it. with us, and we're excited to share even more footage in the coming months. What do you guys think Thor I'm looking forward to it too. What do you think will happen during Mario's adventure in the Mushroom Kingdom? Production of the movie is going well. Currently, like with any Nintendo game, we're working on the finishing touches. I hope you're looking forward to the next trailer. It'll be a great experience watching the Super Mario Bros. movie in movie theaters. You'll get to see the Mushroom Kingdom on the big screen. Look closely and you'll spot things in all sorts of places. This film can be enjoyed by people of all ages, so I hope you'll get to a movie theater and cheer for Mario. That's all for today. We'll see you next spring in movie theaters. Thank you. It's hard to be cynical when you're staring down the barrel of a loaded Shigeru. What's this? Is that it? It's funny, I really was bracing myself for something a little bit more disastrous than that. I'm sorry if I let you down, I'm not having a very big reaction. 
That was pretty tame, though. Like, that's not Mario's voice. I think the biggest outlier, like the biggest. If if I had to, if someone was like, "What's the thing about it that you think is the most whack?" I would be like, "They de-Italified. They this is Italian Mario erasure." And I don't know if they're bracing themselves for a time in the near future, maybe three, five, ten years from now, where you can't do a funny Italian voice anymore, and they're on movie, they're on Mario movie four at that point, and <laughs> they're like, "Well, we can't change his voice now," but. But I don't know, man. Mario's not Italian? That's the more I say that, the more that's I sit with that, the less I like the idea of an un-Italian Mario. But it looks pretty good. Uh the it I think Chris Pratt is doing like almost more of a Sonic voice than a Mario voice. Let's let's run that back real quick. What is this place? Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that one's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario! Mushroom Kingdom, here we come! Yeah, they clearly... There were conversations. They had conversations about what they were going to do. And they said, what if instead of Italian, he was just... A guy from New York. That's a good compromise, I think, is what they told themselves. I don't agree. That's not Mario. I'm really dying to know, because when they first announced this, they were like, by the way, Charles Martinet's going to have a cameo in it. It's like, who, I don't, as who though? Waluigi? Like, is there going to be like a classic Mario, like 8-bit Mario cameo, and he talks like actual Mario? On, on second watch, that Toad being like, don't touch that or you'll die, feels a little... Despicable Me, Minions, It's So Fluffy vibes in a negative way. But I don't know, man. I That was not... That could have been... This, I feel like talking about this, this is how I hear people talk about the Sonic movie. But that could have been so much worse. And that's not... I don't know, man. People say that about the Sonic movie, and I'm like, no, it's like, that's pretty bad. Like, it's, it's a 4 out of 10 children's movie. That felt... Okay, I'll say that. And like, if it's really packed full of like, if this has really been Illumination and like Nintendo of Japan working hand in hand on this for like half a decade, and if it's really like generously packed full of like actual thoughtful Mario stuff, right? Like actual, like not just like surface level bullshit Sonic movie Easter eggs were like, ooh, it says Green Hill Zone on the sign. I just, this is, this to me, I guess that's what I'm getting at. This to me is so, so vastly preferable to a movie where a Chris Pratt lookalike cop guy and his wife hang out with Sonic in, like, America. <laughs> like, that, that to me was so, like, despicable. No pun intended. This is like, at least it's a animated movie that a lot of money was spent on that Nintendo had a hand in. I am I know, I was really hoping I would have like a more like loud negative reaction, but like, I don't know, so far, that didn't, that didn't, I'm gonna end up regretting saying this, but that didn't really bother me that, that much. We heard, here's the thing, we heard so little writing in that, I have so little sense of what the voice of the movie is. Mario had two lines, Bowser had two lines, Toad had like one and a half lines that honestly did annoy me a little bit. Like, maybe the tone of it's awful and the sense of humor of it's awful. And if so, I, that to me is like a kind of a deal breaker, but at least it's an animated Mario movie and not like a little funny little 3D Sonic guy running around and he's an alien who came from the owl planet to hang out with a police officer on Earth and do three fart jokes per second. Like, th this could be the least worst video game movie. I'm really glad I was unspoiled on that. Also, by the way, notable, N Mario's appearance didn't really bother me. Maybe I have, like, Sonic movie trailer brain where I was really bracing myself for that being a problem, but it, that was, I thought Mario looked like Mario from the Mario games. So that was all right. IDK, dude, I'm so, 
I'm so, as a Nintendo fan, I'm so irreversibly brain damaged. And I'm so in the bag for Mario stuff that maybe I'm... Maybe, you guys tell me. I'm I'm not alarmed yet. That's my that's my hot take from this hotel room in San Diego. Um, thank you guys for watching me watch a Mario trailer. Sorry I talked about it for so many minutes. I'm going to edit this and then go hang out with my friends. Have a wonderful weekend. And also, I'll see you at TwitchCon, maybe, if you guys are here. Have a nice night. Mario. Do the Mario. Do the Mario. Do the Mario.